Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Knight. We are playing Shades of Tesla, and it's a pretty... We're not doing a great turn, really. We were slow getting out our gold tiles, so we're like one round behind having gold units to pick. And we've only got one gold tile out, so we don't have any really high reward and high XP reward, you know, things to fight. So it was really terrible. Plus, I had to come all the way down here to try and heal the Necromancer because I took so many wounds. So it's been a real tough day. Basically, we've only got this turn and two more turns, so three more rounds to kill both of these guys. So it's going to be very, very hard for us to kill both of these things. I am hopeful that I'll still be able to kill at least this blue guy. So my goals for this turn is to get this guy into here and then buy this unit, which can be recruited at the village, and also get this guy into this mage tower where he can recruit this gold unit, which is also a very good unit. And hopefully we can make some progress with getting him all the way up here. But yeah, uh, it's not a not a particularly good turn. Now, while I was doing my editing, uh, I decided that I thought it was stupid to get rid of my banner off the golem. So I'm just going to pull that out and uh, put him back on. Okay, let's just give them all a shuffle. And this guy gets a random card first. Long night, and let's draw five cards. Okay, and let's draw five cards. Okay. So this guy here, Oh God, my fucking thing just crashed. Oh, that's such bullshit. Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to Mage Knight. This is Shades of Tesla. It's a pretty, we're in pretty dire straits here. We had a very late gold tile, which means our gold units didn't come out until this turn, which is second night. And we've only got one gold tile out, so we haven't had any really high value reward and XP reward uh, sites to attack. So we're a bit low on the thing. We're only on the sec <laughs> the fourth level, which is sucky. And basically that means we've only got this turn and two more rounds to beat both of these guys, which is going to be a hard ask. Hopefully I'll be able to beat at least one, maybe do a little bit of damage on both, but I'm not very confident I can beat both at this stage. So we'll see how that goes. Right, so for my plan today is to get into here, which is a village, and get into here, which is a mage tower, and buy these two units. We can buy this one at the village, and we can buy this one at the mage tower. So with luck, that'll all be pretty easy to do. Now, one thing I did want to do is when I was doing my editing, 
I noticed that I threw away my banner card off my golems for some reason. And I've decided I'm going to reverse that because I don't know why I did that. All right. Let's give these all a shuffle. This guy gets the first tactic card. Long night. Okay. So let's uh, draw five. All right, what have we got here? Ambush and attack. This is a good hand. So he's going to take uh, Mana Search. And this guy, let's draw five. Okay, so this is a okay-ish hand. There is a blue. Okay, so this isn't too bad. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a preparation. And we're gonna use preparation to take offering this spell here. Okay. So that gives us the dummy going first, followed by the dryad, followed by the necromancer. Now when I update this mod, which I'm in the process of doing, I'm going to put Dryad, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was actually in the right order already. That's handy. So when I, uh, I'm, I'm going to update this mod pretty soon. I'm going to put like a, a, a scripted version of the turn order so I don't have to use this really annoying uh, hot seat mode. Blam, blam, blam. Red, nice. Dummy. So. We need... What do we need here? We need the blue. So I'm going to roll these two. And we're looking for a green. Come on. Green and blue, perfect. So I'm going to go four, blam. Oh no. Three, four, five. Okay, I'll have to do it this way. Okay, so I go four. It's one, two to move in there. And I we may as well explore this. It gets uh, nothing real interesting. It does have a dragon den here. This will uh, give us a spell and an artifact, plus a whole heap of XP. But this guy is going to attack us as we do that. So this guy comes down and attacks us. Now we're going to block with this guy. So that's three at attack, blocking with four, no damage. This guy gives us plus two, so that's three, four, five, boom, six, seven. So that's four, five, six, so that's, uh, he's dead. Blam, so this makes him go up one. We get two, one, two. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put that up three, I'll tell you why in a sec. And we also get an elementalist token. And then I'm going to play Sapphire Ring, which gives us one fame and a blue crystal. Not a bad opening hand. Okay, now Necro, he wants to get into here, which is four. 
Uh, five, beg your pardon, because it is night time. We have four. We'll go five, six. I've got to pay a blue crystal and get a red crystal. Yes, that's right. Okay. So we've got on six move, which gets us in. I'll just uh, copy that there. So then I'm going to cast offering. Well, I'm going to cast sacrifice. So it says choose a green or white, then choose a red or blue. I'm going to choose green and red. Okay. And then it says if you choose green, it's siege attack four, which it doesn't really matter because this guy has no siege. We could, it's just that we've got two greens basically. And then for each pair of crystals of one of each of those colors in your inventory, you get siege attack four. Okay. It's a really weirdly worded card. What it actually says is for each pair of crystals of one of each of those colors in your inventory, what it's saying is that if you choose green and red, for every pair of two of them you have in your inventory, you are able to enact it. So we've got two pairs. So we have Siege Attack 8, which kills this thing. Okay. Now to cast this, we need red and black. But we have my awesome spell skill here. Create a basic mana token and a black mana token. We flip that and that pays for one spell around. Very, very nice. Then it says, turn all these crystal pairs into mana. So these all become mana tokens. And the final thing is because we chose red, it's fire attack, but it doesn't matter because this has no resistance. Point is we've produced eight C's damage. This guy's killed without attacking. End of story. Now we are going to use our resurrection skill here. And the way this works is... It is a defend one. So this one is you spend the resurrection cost, which is enemies feign divided by two rounded up and uh, you get and suffer three reputation. So that is five is three mana, but we've got four mana tokens from that uh, from this offering spell. And that, my friends, is the end of that. Oh, wait, this guy, we've resurrected him. Stick him there. So he gets five, one, two, three, four, five. You blammo. He goes back one for the keep and one, two, three. And our evil necromancer is now truly evil. And we also get to choose a spell. There's some good spells here, but I'm taking Misform because we need movement ASAP. Nice. Okay, now it is back to the dummy. Clickety click. Green, that's a plus one. Blamo. And I forgot to actually get both their shields. So this guy is now the all important drawing six cards. And this guy here is also the all important drawing six cards. Okay, let's draw your blamo.
Okay, so a lot of wounds, that's no good. But we are going to use mana search to roll these two dice. Now we are trying to produce nine mana. Unfortunately, we are not positive, so we don't get any help. We are at zero there at least. So that is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll take a red. But you know what I am going to do instead? I'm actually going to use this ability. Heal one, gain a green or blue. Oh, that doesn't help us. So, yeah, I'll take a, a red. So we produce five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is enough to hire him. We get minus reputation. And bam, we have a gold unit. Nice. Everything's working up so far. Okay, what have you got for us? La Blamo. Okay, so we have, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We do have infamous reprisals, which is lucky. That means, I mean, we were going to heal anyway and probably draw it because we'd be drawing an extra three cards, but uh, we got it first time. That's handy. And we've got a white mana. You blammo. Okay, Infamous Reprisals is one of the new cards. So what it basically says is treat the X rep as negative five. Gain four influence or gain influence equal to rep. Gain four influence or gain influence equal to rep treating the minus symbol as positive. Then you may pay black mana even during the day to add the thug recruitment symbol to a single unit. You may also pay additional black mana for plus one influence each. So what this is basically saying is, <coughs> we are actually treated as negative five, so we can still interact even on the X space. And we gain influence equal to our rep, treating the minus sign as positive. So basically we have, in, we've just gained influence five. And then we may pay a black mana even during the day to add the thug recruitment symbol. Now we do not have any black mana, unfortunately. So that's a problem.
gain four influence or add the thug recruitment single to a single unit and gain influence equal to four plus your rep to a minimum of zero and you may pay black you may pay black you may pay a black mana even during the day So this is one of the new cards and what it currently says is treat X rep as negative five, gain four influence or add the thug recruitment single, add the thug recruitment symbol to a single unit and gain influence equal to four plus your rep to a minimum of zero. You may pay a black mana even during the day. You may pay black mana even during the day for plus one influence each. So this says treat so this says treat X rep as negative five. Gain four influence or add the thug recruitment symbol to a single unit and gain influence equal to four plus your rep to a minimum of zero. You may pay a black mana even during the day for plus one influence each. So what that's saying is by paying for this, we get to pretend we're on the negative five. So that basically means you can, all, you can interact even on the star space if you use this card. And then we gain four influence plus negative five, which equals negative one, but zero is the, the lowest, okay? So we end up with zero rep gained. But because we add the thug symbol to a unit, we actually get five. It's like having five rep, okay? Now, if you were plus five and you did the same thing, okay, you'd also gain four plus five, but it still adds the thug recruitment symbol. So that means that uh, the being plus is not gonna help you. So that's the way that works out. The point is by playing this card, we've produced five rep and we need nine to hire this guy. We produce five influence. And now we go another three, so that's five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna do this one for nine, and we've hired our unit. Beautiful. Okay, over to the dummy. Click O. Green, draw one extra. And now it is this bloke's turn. Draw up to six. We're going to shuffle just the black one. Wow, we've got a lot of wounds here. Okay, so let me just have a look here. We have Expose. Enemies lose all fortifications this combat. 
Four enemies lose all resistances this combat. And then range three. Okay, so I'm going to go bam. I'm going to use this ability, which is heal plus gain a green token. So blam. That's four. Okay, let me just work out how. what's the best way to do this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. Or 3, 6, 9, 12, 17. Or we go here and kill a dragon, get XP, and we can get a spell and an artifact, which we don't know what the artifact is going to be. Yeah, I'm just going to go four into here. Okay, draw up to six. Okay, so let's go blue. Uh, let's go green. And... Hmm. Five... Yeah, so, and then we're going to go misform. Move, move cost of all trains, including lakes, is two. You cannot enter hills, mountains for the rest of this turn. So these are mountains. So we've produced four movement. One, two, three, four, Okay, yep, yeah. I'll do this one. Five, six, bam. Oh, and I also have to do this. And we did a double heal. So let's get rid of those cards. Back over here, what you got for us? Clickety, clickety, clue. Oh, blue, that's terrible. One, two, Three. Ugh. Sucks having a three. -er. Okay, and six. We're going to roll this one and this one. Double black. That doesn't help. Okay, what is this? Two influence, that gets this guy to attack. Can we take units into this thing? I think we can. No units. Oh, why did I move there? I should have moved here. I'm just going to move there. So we're going to go four. I'm going to go six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Yeah. So that's six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unfortunately, I'm gonna, I'm, I might just keep this one. Okay, 
Okay, do up to six. Blammo. More wounds. Okay, so we do a heal, get rid of that wound. I need three to get in there. Let's go one, two, three. That gets us in there, gives us a green crystal. We're also gonna do this and power it with a blue. That gives us a red and a green. Dummy again, blam blam. Oh, okay. Dryad, another six. Let's rotate these two guys. Why did I keep this card? I shouldn't have kept this card. Oh, it's another wound anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do this for green. Heal twice. And uh, I'm going to stop there. Necro guy, you blammo. What have we got here? Okay. We have five move. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve move. So, what are we going to do here? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So we got nine to here. Maybe we should go nine to here. Then we'll start with a black mana next turn. And we need three. No, I'll go here. So we need nine. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I don't need to spend this crystal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll just discard that one anyway. And now we're drawing plus two because we're next to a city. Okay, this guy declares the end of round. Last turn, baby, what you got for us? Okay, let's uh, re-roll these. We want five, six, seven, eight. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, bam, bam, blue, and we'll take green. So that's, uh, what's this? Five, five, six, seven. What do we need? Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, ow. Terribly annoying. So I'm going to have to do it like this.
five, six, seven, eight, nine. What do I need? Eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So what I could do actually is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'll play this. Turn this into a green. Bam. 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 So that's four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, I need eight. What am I doing? Ugh. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, so that's five, six, seven, eight. I'll just do it like that. So that's five, six, seven, eight. That gets us into the glade. Oh, I finished the turn on that and I didn't take a white crystal. So I'll just grab that. And the Necro declares end of turn. And that's the end of the ground. Oh man, that was, I felt like that was a really bad set of turns. Blanc, ooh, fire mages, nice. Okay. Ah, it's going to be very, very hard turn. So now we are in position. So he's next to him. So he gets plus two cards for being next to a city. It's two to move in there. And it's time to take out this big sucker. So I'll need this. I'll need the, sit, the random city thing. Oh man, that opening salvo of Petrify. How am I going to deal with a Petrify 7? It's 4. Resistance of ice as well. I could possibly do that siege again if I get lucky with my draw. It's going to be very, very hard. Okay, we'll see how that goes next turn. See you next time.